for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you retrofication of hospital building by using e tap software so in my previous videos uh, i was explain how to design the g plus 10 structural model of hospital building by using e tap software in this video i will explain you how to do the retrofication for that respected same building model by using e tap software and designing process by using e tap software so for that firstly i will show you the model with the help of the uh, e tap software which i was already done for the g plus 10 building structural model with the considerations of the steel bracings as a retrofication methods okay so retrofication is nothing but the strengthening of the existing structure with the different technologies okay like we can use the shear uh, steel bracing system uh, damper system like we can use the shear wall system and base isolation system etc okay this is also comes under earthquake resistant designing concepts so firstly i am selecting my e tap software here so this is my building model I was already done the modeling process for this respected building with the considerations of the steel bracing. So for this building, I was added the steel bracings here like this. Firstly, I will show you the properties for this building. So go to click on define option material properties. So for this building, I was taken M30 grade concrete provision and HYSD bars of 500 grade steel. Again, in the same process, I was taken the frame sections, which is comes under the beam size of 0.5 cross 0.23 and column size of 0.5 cross 0.5. In the same process, I was taken the ISWB section of 250 for the bracing system. Okay, as a retrofication uh, property. Go to click on define option. So here I was taken the uh, thickness of the slab is approximately 150 mm. Okay, so here I was considered the load cases, which is comes under the dead loading condition, live loading condition, seismic loading condition, and wind loading condition system. So after doing applying all the loading condition system as per the consideration, we need to analyze the structure. So for that click on the run analysis option so that it will do the analysis process. Then we can easily see the results which are comes under the uh, deflection diagram, shear force diagram, bending moment diagram and torsion diagram with the considerations of the different types of the load cases and load combinations as per e type software. Now you can see it was done with analysis process. This is the deflection of the building structure with the considerations of the dead loading condition system. We can change the dead loading condition deflection diagram as per the considerations of the load cases. Go to click on deform shape with the consideration undeformed shape. Again click on the uh, uh, select the deform shape. So select the load combinations or load cases as per your consideration. Next time selecting earthquake load in x direction condition click on apply so that it will display the earthquake load in x direction displacement diagram. In the same process if you want to see the shear force diagram bending moment diagram for this particular structure we can click on the display option select the forces space diagrams click on frame spandrilla force select shear to two option select the load case as per your consideration click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram select moment 3 3 click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram again in the same process we can select the torsion option so that it will display the torsion diagram for the particular structure under consideration so after that we have to uh, uh, design the structure as per the considerations of the load cases so before that initially we need to add the strip condition system for the different slabs as per the slab designing section so for that firstly i am unlocking the model here click on unlock model go to click on edit option here click on add edit grid strip condition system next i'm selecting add strip condition firstly i'm selecting two kind of the stories which is comes under the 11th story 6th story and first story so here i'm selecting 11th story with the grid di direction is x and strip layer is a okay click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the 11th section in the same process i'm selecting the y direction with the strip layer is b click on apply it will apply this respected condition in the same process i'm selecting the sixth story with x direction with the strip layer is a click on apply it will apply the strip condition at the sixth story in the same process select the y direction b section click on apply it will apply the strip condition system for this particular structure in the same process we have to select the story number two in direction will be of x with strip layer is a click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the second story again in the same process i am selecting y direction with strip layer is b click on apply it will apply the strip condition field system for the y direction click on ok option now we have to do the analysis process again for the considerations of the strip condition system so for that go to click on the analyze option set load cases to run option click on run now option so now we can see it was doing the analysis process for the respected building structure with the considerations of the strip conditions 
then after that we can easily design the structure as per the considerations of the retrofication methods now you can see it was done with analysis process now we have to design the beam sections column sections as well as the uh, slab section so for that firstly click on the design option concrete frame design select view revised preferences select is456 for this respected design considerations of the code click on ok option again in the same process i am selecting design option concrete frame design select start designing check for the particular structure of the frames so that it will start designing check for the beam sections column sections under considerations of the different types of the load cases for the building now you can see here it was done with analysis process for the particular structure with the considerations of the x uh, strip condition now we have to design the slab design go to click on this respected option uh, click on the view revised preferences select is456 click on ok again in the same process i am selecting this option click on select your number of the stories just i am selecting story number 11 just i am selecting sixth story and to second story why because i was added the strip condition system for the particular structure also okay if you want to select all the stories you can select but it will not show you the rebar values so here i am selecting all the stories click on ok option so that it will uh, do the uh, selection property for the particular structure go to click on the start designing check option so that it will do the designing for the particular slab section at the story number uh, 11 at the story number 6 and at the story number 2 for the building structure under consideration now we can see it was done with uh, designing process of the slab it will show you the slab strip design layer for the particular structure in a layer and b layer here like this so firstly we have to save the model whatever the model that we are done till now the process which is related to the retrofication with the help of the bracing system so here i am saving my model control s option so that it will save the model initially so now we have to import this model particular model to the csi detailing version software in csi detailing version software we can easily develop the reinforcement values for the particular beam section column section and slab section so for that just i am selecting here as csi detailing version 18 version software here okay so i am having the csi 18 version software with me for detailing process if you have any kind of the version you can develop that particular structure detailing by using csi version okay go to select the file option click on new model option so firstly we have to import the data which is comes under this retrofication process uh, to the uh, csi detailing so for that firstly we have to select this model so that it will initially open the model in etap software after opening the model in etap software then it will be directly imported to this particular csi detailing version software now we can see the model was open here like this so it is importing the data which is comes under the grid sections story sections joint sections and frame section then after that it will import the data related to the shell sections now the importing process is completed for the G plus 7 hospital building structure. So firstly we have to select the sum of the units and some of the specifications in CSI detailing. So select the default units option, select the force will be in kilonewton and select the rebar set will be of IS25 and rebar weight will be in 10 option. Click on OK. Again select the preferences option, select standard preferences as per IS456 2000 code. Click on OK. Click on the concrete detailing option. You can change the B, uh, CB section to the beam section and uh, CC section to the column section and WC, CW section to the wall section. Click on OK. Click on the display preferences option. You can select as per your consideration. Rebar rules option here. Okay. So here I am selecting minimum cover will be of 120 and maximum will be of 450 for all the section which is comes under the beam sections, slab sections as well as the column section. Okay. So here I am taking the value will be of 120 at the C section and this particular value will be a 450 and this is also 450 this is also 450 and select the column again I am selecting this particular structure to 150 value and this particular value to the 450 value click on OK option again we have to click on the OK option for the particular structure so that it will do the detailing process in CSI detailing version software with the considerations of the retrofication with the help of the steel bracing system so now we can see it is showing the rebar plan view for the particular structure for the 11th section and this is the rebar plan for the top section and this is the rebar plan for the bottom section click on the all rebar plan this is the all rebar plan for the particular structure okay so you can select the bill of material 
final rebar quantities and select the rebar cage view here okay so that it will load the final rebar cage view for the particular structure under consideration now we can see it is required bar size length and weight in ton for the particular structure of the rebar section okay so now you can see this is the rebar reinforcement for the particular slab section under retrofication method of the bracing system in the same process you can select the sixth story it will be also consisting of the reinforcement values here like this in the same process i'm selecting the beam concrete frame beams elevation section select any one of the floor just i'm selecting this particular beam section select the aa section now you can see it is consisting of the reinforcement values here like this which is of three bars of 20 mm diameter at the top and three bars of uh, 20 mm diameter at the top section also again it is consisting of four bars of 20 mm diameter at the bottom this is the a section this is the b section in the same process you can select any one of the floor again it will be consisting of the reinforcement values here like this okay you can pick any one of the floor so that it will display the values here like this okay so in the same process we can select the column section here just i'm selecting concrete column elevation section select select any one of the column here okay just i'm selecting column c uh, 17 so just double click on it so that it will display the concrete reinforcement design results for the column click on this particular value b section c section and d section e section okay so it will show you the reinforcement value for the particular structure directly click on the reinforcement rebar cage view option so that it will load the rebar cage view for the column section with the considerations of the different types of the specifications for the uh, building structure okay so this is the complete slab uh, beam uh, column reinforcement details for the building structure okay so this is the complete process of retrofication of building structure designing of the building structure with the help of the uh, steel bracing system as a retrofication method okay if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you